sadness that my tour is coming to close 18 months. But it is with, it is with, with great celebration we come to a place like this because Dubai is, is great. I mean, the last two concerts I loved here. Um, so it's a thrill to be back. Um, in your Bonfire Heart video, you, there is a white Jeep feature. Do you ever get out in Dubai and do any off-roading in the desert? I haven't had the chance to, no. I mean, yesterday I went and saw um, various sites. I went to the Dubai Museum yeah. um, and, uh, and had a look around you know, kind of the old part of Dubai. Um, uh, which is sweet, um, and, uh, and yes, yeah, so when I can, I really, really do enjoy going and seeing the city. I mean, last night I got out as well to go and see the place. Otherwise, it would be a wasted journey, wouldn't yeah. it? But then again, you know, the spirit of any city really is is, is it's the people who live in it, and, and the audience are what I really will get a feel for the character, and I can't wait to see it. I mean, there's a shocking great poster there of Michael Bublé, isn't there, overlooking the stage. I've asked if they'll cover it up for the show. Um, and, uh, you know, I think it's a great spot to uh, Dubai for so many things. People are coming here for so many things. It's, you know, and, and, and while you've got an audience, roll over the music, it's great. And Bonfire Heart, I know there's a really extraordinary story to the way you made that video. Yeah, well, the song in the first place was fun. I jumped on One Republic's tour bus because I was writing a song uh, with Ryan Tedder, their lead singer. I was a groupie uh, to the band One Republic. Um, I always take three years to make albums just because I, it takes me a year to write the chords. I then go and promote it for six months. I then tour it for 18 months. That leaves me one day to go and wash my clothes, and then I get back to making another album.